utility design now has a configurable interface that can support two-way integration with GIS systems and other asset management databases. As you can see in the video, there's now a new data panel located on the AutoCAD Utility Design Configuration tab. The first command in this panel is titled Connect to Extract. When you select this command, it lets you configure the connection to the source GIS or database. The next new command is Configure Mapping. Since the mapping between the GIS or database and AutoCAD Utility Design will almost always be the same, this should be something that sh that's configured. When you select this command, you can define the details of the data mapping between the GIS or database source and Utility Design's industry models. Because these capabilities are now part of AutoCAD Utility Design's configuration setup, they can be set once and they'll apply to all users. The result is that these features simplify the overall user access to the GIS and asset data sets, saving time and improving the day-to-day -day user's workflow. From the designer's perspective, there are also two new commands, Extract Existing and Merge, merge Changes. These take full advantage of the configuration features I just talked about. Here's how this works. Let's take a quick look. In the video, we'll start by clicking on the new Extract Existing command. This brings up the pre-configured link to the GIS or database, where you can simply enter the password. In a few moments, Utility Design has used the pre-configured link to the database to make that connection to the database. At this point, Utility Design prompts for a query window. So we'll window an area for the data to be extracted. After this is done, the data in the source GIS or database is extracted, mapped using the pre-configured mapping that I discussed earlier, and displayed in AutoCAD Utility Design. And that's all there is to it. The Merge Changes command is essentially the complementary function. When you invoke this command, a palette appears as shown here in the video. Using this palette, you can have object-by-object -object control over what design changes will actually be merged into the source GIS or database. So the bottom line here is that with AutoCAD Utility Design 2014, GIS and asset management integration becomes practical and easy to use for a utility of any size.